Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use the Blendif sliders in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode is all about blending. We're gonna show you how to use the blend diff sliders. Now, don't underestimate these. They're insanely powerful. When it comes to blending layers together, there really is no better tool. Combined with blend diff sliders and blending modes, you're gonna be amazed at what you can do. A lot of people don't even know about the blend diff sliders, so we're gonna go in and show you guys exactly how they work. You're gonna see that you can blend on information based on the layer you're on or information from the rest of the image. You're also gonna learn how to target just highlights or shadows, which is hugely helpful if you wanna dodge and burn. All right, let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop. So here's our image for today. Now, because we've got a lot of muscle definition, we're gonna have fun with Blendif. But before we get into that, I wanna bring up an example to show you guys how Blendif actually works. So I went ahead and created this layer here. We've just got black, white, red, green and blue. And these are our three color channels. So when you've ever heard of RGB color mode, that's red, green, and blue. Okay, so to get to blend if, and we're gonna do this on this layer to begin with. To get to blend with, blend with, <laughs> blend if, simply double click on your layer right over here in the blue area, or go to layer effects and go to blending options. Okay, now let's go ahead and bring that over here so we can see everything we're kind of working with. There we go. Now, blend if is going to be right down here. So make sure you're clicked on where it says blending options. Blend if is all the way down here on the bottom and you've got two sliders here. Now it's really important to know the distinction between these two sliders. The top slider uses information from the layer you're on. We're actually editing this layer and the bottom slider uses information from the rest of this image. All right, let's jump in and show you how it works. Okay, now Blendif basically makes certain areas of your image invisible depending on where you put your sliders. So let's take a look at our top slider. We're going to be working with this layer to start with. Now, if I take the left side of our slider and start dragging this from the left to the right, you're gonna notice immediately our black disappears. And that's because on this layer, anything that's to the left of those sliders is going to disappear. Now, as I continue to go to the right, we're gonna to start to see our colors are gonna to start to disappear. There we go, our green's gone, and now we just have white remaining. Now, if I go the other way, let's start from the right side here and go to the left, you're gonna see white is going to disappear immediately. And then we start bringing it into the left, our colors are gonna go away. There we go. And if we go all the way back over there, there we go, then our blacks disappear as well. Let's get that back to where it was to start. Okay, so basically where you put your sliders determines what's going to be visible and invisible on this layer. Cool, now you also have the option of choosing different color channels. So by default, we were on gray. Now what happens if I go from gray down here to red? So if I start bringing this slider from the right to the left, red is gonna start to disappear pretty much immediately. And you can see white disappears as well because it's the lightest thing in the image but green and blue are going to stay. All right, now if we have green selected, green and white are going to be disappearing, leaving red. Let's bring that back over there. And blue pretty much does exactly what you think it would do. Blue goes away as well as white goes away. Okay, so not only do we have access to whether something is light or dark, but we have access to all three of our color channels as well. All right, so that's how blend if sliders work on the top slider, which affects the layer you're on, which is great, but they come in a lot more handy with the bottom slider. So let's jump in and show you how that works. Now the bottom slider uses the information from the rest of the image to see what's going to be visible and invisible. Okay, so if we grab our slider from the left here, we're gonna go back to our gray and we're gonna be using the underlying layer now. Now I'm gonna click and drag this from the left to the right. And what you're gonna see is instead of just like black or white or red or green disappearing, it's based on the information from the underlying layer. So here where the underlying layer is dark, my layer is disappearing. And you can see it's starting to disappear from the shadows. And eventually it's gonna only be visible where we have our highlights, no matter what's on this layer. Now you can use these in conjunction. Let's say I want the black to disappear. I can just bring that up and there goes my black 
and we're also having it just visible where the underlying layer is light. All right, let's go ahead and set those reset. There we go, back to normal now. Let's go ahead and look from the right side. So now it's going to start disappearing from the highlights. So where the image is lighter, you can see the highlights in the body here. Now we're disappearing from the right side and it's only going to show up in the shadows. All right, so that's the basic idea here. Whether you're grabbing the left side or the right side of the slider, you're gonna be making this layer invisible where either the darks are visible or the lights are visible from the underlying layer. Now this is huge because it's going to allow you to target lights and darks and colors from the underlying layers in order to blend this layer together. And there's one more trick to blend of sliders and that's using feathering. So up until now, we've just grabbed these sliders and we've gone from left to the right and seen that, okay, that's what that looks like here. It's no longer visible where the dark areas are. But check this out. It looks really kind of like choppy, right? That's not doing a great job actually blending in. Well, I'm gonna bring this right back to over there. And now instead of just grabbing the slider and moving to the right, I'm gonna hold Alt or Option. And this is the big key here because the slider is actually two different sliders. And when you hold Alt or Option, it separates those out, which allows you to feather your blending. So let's hold Alt or Option and grab this slider now. Now you can see instead of just one slide, now it's broken up into two. And I can take this slide and move it to the right. And it's still going to be doing the same thing. It's going to not be visible where this area is darker. But you can see instead of being choppy, it's blending together really, really well. Now, I've moved that side of the slider. I can also move this side of the slider as well. So I'm able to really dial in just exactly where this layer is going to be visible based on where I'm putting these two sliders. So again, this is only visible where the lights are. Now, if I bring this back over here, let's try with the other side. Hold Alt or Option. I'm gonna grab this slider and bring this from the right to the left. There we go. And you can see it's disappearing from the lighter areas but we have a lot of detail there. Look how that looks compared to this. There we go. You can see a lot more choppy here. Now the feathering makes things a lot more realistic. So when you're using Blendif, I do recommend using the feathering. Just hold Alt or Option and it's gonna allow you to separate those sliders. All right guys, and that's how we use Blendif sliders in Photoshop. Now the example we just used was a lot more abstract. We just had a bunch of different colors. So let's use an example that's more real world, something you would actually do to enhance your photos. All right, let's go ahead and make that layer invisible for now. Now let's say I wanted to enhance the highlights that are here on my model. Maybe I wanted to make it look like she's even more muscular. Well, what I'm gonna do is create a new layer on top of there. And then I'm gonna use my brush tool and simply paint white over top of my image. All right, so we're gonna use our brush tool and I'm just gonna paint white right over here and then maybe right down here as well. Now you can see I'm really not being careful about where I paint. You can see it's just kind of covering up all that area, but I'm not concerned because I'm gonna use Blend If to make sure this white is only visible on the highlights of her body, which is going to allow us to enhance those highlights. We're gonna double click right here on our layer, bringing up our Blend If. So here in Blending Options, we're gonna go down to the bottom. Now, in this case, we want these highlights to not be visible where the shadows are, right? We only want them to be visible where the highlights are. So that's why we're gonna take the left side here. So we're gonna hold Alt or Option, and I'm gonna click and start separating these out. And as I move this slider here, you're gonna see this layer is going to start disappearing from the shadow areas. As I grab this side of the slider, it's going to start disappearing from the shadow areas defined by the left side of the slider. All right, and let's bring that a little bit more to the right. And what I'm able to do, you can see, is I'm able to very clearly define just where this layer is going to be visible. So in this case, it's just gonna be just in these highlights. You can see just right there, which creates a very nice glossy effect. Now, if I bring this over to the left a little bit, you can see it's visible even more. All right, now keep in mind, all I did was paint white on this layer. So it just looks like white paint kind of on her body. So let's change our blending mode to make it blend in and really look like it's enhancing those highlights. All right, so now we have it targeted exactly where we want it. We can see the white layer is just showing up here and right here on these abs. Now what we're gonna do is change our blend mode here from normal all the way down here to either overlay or soft light. Let's check out soft light. 
And now we can see just, instead of just showing up as white, it shows up as the highlight, and actually enhancing the highlights that are on her body. So making this layer visible and invisible, there we go, we can see the difference that makes. It really adds a lot of definition. And all I did, guys, I just grabbed my brush tool and painted white over there and then targeted this to just show up in the highlights. So that's how we use blend if sliders to actually affect photos in a realistic way. Now let's do the same thing with our shadows to really give the body a lot of definition. So we're gonna create a new layer here and I'm just gonna grab my brush tool and we're gonna paint with black. And I'm gonna cover some of these shadow areas. And I'm, again, I'm just painting right over here with my brush tool. And you can see it doesn't really look that realistic right now. It doesn't look good at all. But we're going to use Blend If to take care of that. Okay, so that's painted on there. Let's double click on our layer. Okay, now this time I want this layer to not be visible where the lights are. So I'm going to grab from the right. We're going to hold Alt or Option. And I'm going to click here to separate out those two sliders. And as I go, you're going to see it's going to start to immediately disappear from the light areas, only showing up where the dark areas are. Okay, now I painted black over here, so we're going to change our blend mode from normal down to soft light, which is going to allow us to carve even more definition into the body. And I can change how this blends in with the photo. The greatest thing is I've got a very nice real-time look at how it actually affects our image. There we go, and we can affect our opacity right here in this same slider. All right, that actually looks really good. So let's hit OK and turn this off and on to see how it's only targeted the darker areas, leaving the lighter areas well defined. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the before and the after. Basically, what we did here is the same effect you would do for dodging and burning. All right, cool. Here's our before and the after. And that's how we use blend if sliders in Photoshop. Just remember these key things. To access the blend if sliders, simply double click on your layer or go down to FX and then to blending options. With blend if, you've got two different sliders. The top slider is going to be based on the layer you're on. The bottom slider is going to be based on the rest of the image. You can also use these in conjunction with each other, so don't be afraid to play around. Keep in mind you can also change your channel, changing red, green, or blue. To get even more out of your blend if sliders, be sure to hold Alt or Option and separate those sliders out. This is going to allow you to feather your blending, making it a lot more realistic. In this example, we painted white over the highlights. Then on our bottom slider, we'd made it not visible where the underlying layer is darker. This made it not visible in the dark areas, just enhancing our highlights. Then we did the exact opposite for the shadows. This resulted in a dodge and burn effect. And that's just the start of how useful Blend If is in Photoshop. And that's it for today's episode, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. If you love Photoshop just like I do, hit that big red button on your screen. We'll send you free Photoshop and photography videos every single week. And if you have an idea for an episode or a question about today's episode, just leave it in a comment right down below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll learn you later. Bye, everyone powerful and one of the best blending tools you can offer access. <laughs> Dang, I was so close. We're focusing on the blend if sliders. Now don't ester estimate these. You're also going to learn how to target just highlights or just shadows. <laughs> You're also going to learn how to target just highlights or just shadows. You're also going to learn how to highlight just so the bottom slider so la 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 la, la. Learn.com, where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun.